I can't speak for anyone else's storage closets, but I know mine is definitely a clutter magnet. It is the place where stuff gets shoved and hidden and pushed back on the shelves and completely forgotten about sometimes. And sometimes I even store empty boxes in here, like empty product boxes that I hang on to for some reason. So sometimes we end up storing stuff that we really don't even need to be storing. So I'm gonna walk through the process with you of decluttering a closet. So this could be your storage closet, linen closet, or just a, a closet in your hall or in your room where just random things tend to gather. So let's tackle this closet and see what we can find to let go of. And it's easiest to begin to declutter when you know how you wanna use the space. So I want this to be more dedicated to being a linen closet rather than a random storage space. And once you know how you want to use the space, then you can eliminate the items that don't make sense being in that space anymore. And what really doesn't make sense being in here are the empty product boxes because these items I already know are working out for me. So I'm going to check out these product boxes, see if there's anything in here. I don't want to throw away anything that's good in here. Like, oh, see this, uh, my earphones. I have these studio earphones. They come with these little pouches of extra little gummies that go on the earbud. So I guess I'll save those just in case I was to lose <laughs> one of mine. Uh, but I don't need this entire box to save those. So I'll store these with my tech gear. It doesn't make sense to have them in a linen closet <laughs> anymore or a random storage space. And then that means I can eliminate this whole box here. And these cards, yeah, I really don't need them because I've had these earbuds for uh, several years now and I don't need to hang on to that anymore. So I'm gonna go through all the boxes that I have stored on this shelf right here and just make sure that they're all empty or if there's any uh, like user manuals, I'm just gonna get rid of those. These days with the internet, we really don't need to hang on to user manuals for most most items. My Sony camera came with plenty of user manuals and in every language and I don't need to hang on to those. So I'm gonna be tossing those. I think this box is probably empty. Yep, like this box came with my printer from work. Sometimes we do have to hang on to packaging for a little while while we're making sure the item works and it's functional and it's not gonna fail on us. But then after a certain point, we can let it go and we don't have to store these kind of items anymore. So that definitely gonna be going. Got another box. I don't think I need anything in there. Nope. So number one on our list for today is product packaging or boxes that we don't need to store anymore. These are all gonna go right now. I have a couple of candles here. I'm gonna let go of these two because I really don't burn candles with artificial fragrances anymore um, or actually candles at all. I don't buy candles at all. It's one of the things on my list of things I don't buy. So that's number two on my list, candles or any gifts that you've been given where you're, you're just not really into using that item. Don't store it. Go ahead and gift it away to somebody else who can use it. Even though it was a gift, the person who gifted it to you probably doesn't want you to just store it. <laughs> like if, if you can't use it, they, they'd probably probably prefer that somebody else be able to use it, you know, so don't feel bad or guilty about giving away something that was a gift. Number three, small appliances that we're not using and they're just being stored. We've had this old air purifier that I've been storing for a while. They stopped making this model and then stopped making the air filters. So I guess you could probably like find some filters to like cut down and try to finagle it together <laughs> to make it work. It still functions. So someone else could always DIY something. So I'll just pass it on to someone else who wants to do that. I found another small appliance this was actually for my work. So it's a Speed Bright Ionic Jewelry Cleaner or Metal Cleaner, Silver Cleaner. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and let go of that. Number four, old parts to anything or random items that you don't wanna store anymore. Oh wait, that's another thing. Because I'm finding stuff I've forgotten we even had. So this is uh, an old PayPal um, to be able to take cards when we're selling at shows. This doesn't work anymore. So I don't even know why I'm still storing it. So that's definitely gonna go. Uh, PayPal did away with that. They don't even have that service anymore. We actually have an old GoPro in here uh, with some parts. I think we actually bought this at Costco several years ago, like back in Maui, a long time ago. And we had it came with a bunch of parts too. So I have all these GoPro parts, micro SD cards. I I'm not able to use those for anything that I have. It doesn't fit any of my cameras or anything. This is a like a Wi-Fi dongle that I used in Australia when we were traveling. Don't need that anymore. I have these little pouches like Sony and Rode and these little wind windshields. These were for my Rode microphone, but I don't need those. I never use those. Also in this box is an iPhone case. And I, I had got this when I got my phone earlier this year. I finally upgraded. I had the 6S for the longest time. <laughs> finally upgraded earlier this year when my phone refused 
refuse to turn on anymore. It was finally done and finally bit the dust. Um, so anyway, I got this, I tried it out, it was okay, but then I tried a different one and I like that one better. So I'll see if someone else has an iPhone Pro Max that could use this. It's a great case and it's basically brand new. I think I used it like for a, a few days and that was it. So anyway, I'll see, I'll see if I can find someone else who could use that. This is our old drone. Uh, it's a unique breeze. I, I can't get it to work anymore. I don't know if it's my phone, the app, or something. It, I can't, maybe it's the battery. Maybe the battery finally wore down, I'm not sure. Someone might be able to use it for parts or something. Uh, hopefully they can get some use out of it somehow. This actually came from doing my very first sponsorship back in 2015. And uh, yeah, so I didn't actually buy it, but I've been hanging on to it and we played with it for a while, but now it's time to let it go. Here's an old backpack. I think this is like a promo backpack from AAA. It's just like a little canvas bag. This was Michael's. Uh, Michael, did you still want that AAA canvas bag? Yeah, I was gonna keep that in the truck. Oh, you are gonna keep that? Okay. Yeah. So Michael decided he wants to keep this, but it's gonna go in his truck. So at least it'll be leaving our linen closet. <laughs> so I'll put that over here for him. You know what? I. I think I might actually take, oh, look at that. There's another pouch. <laughs> Some, somehow it fell in my tax box here. I have two boxes of tax uh, receipts, actually just from the past years. Okay, so I'll try to find another place that would be a better fit for my tax receipts and things like that. Number five, any craft supplies or sewing supplies that you don't want anymore. Uh, Michael has uh, our sewing machine. It's kind of his sewing machine. He's, he's a better sewer than I am. <laughs> Michael decided he actually wants to keep this in our other room over here. So that's going to be coming out. So I've got some old craft supplies that I've had for years, like since we lived back on Maui. I don't know. I don't know why I held on to these. I guess I thought I was going to use them one day or they might come in handy just in case. So one of those just in case uh, type of things. So I have like zippers and wood things, just basically things that I just don't have any use for anymore. Uh, some old fabric pieces. Yeah, I'm just gonna eliminate everything in this box. So that whole box is coming out of here. I'll go ahead and take out the sewing machine now too and put that on his shelf. Number six, any old beach towels that you don't want anymore. I've got a couple here. I'm gonna let go of both of these. I don't use these ever and they've just been stored in here for a long time. And Michael and I already have our, our beach towels that we use. We just have one each that we use. Number seven, any throw pillows that you no longer want. This is a very cute little saguaro throw pillow that Michael got at a garage sale and he decided he didn't want to keep it anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and set that in our let go of pile. I used to collect all kinds of pillows, all kinds of throw pillows. I had throw pillows, like half of our bed was covered in throw pillows at one time. I, I since went, passed through that phase and now I, I don't collect throw pillows. In fact, I have as minimal amount of pillows as possible now. And I do have one set of throw pillows that I absolutely love and I'm, I'm going to save these because eventually I do want to use these if I can find a small sofa again, and these will be my sofa pillows. So I, I do want to keep these for sure because I have, I have a vision in mind and I want to use these. That's the plan anyway. So I'll hang on to these, but I will go ahead and remove them from the shelf anyway, because I want to clean the shelves and wipe everything down. So I'll just go ahead and set these on our bed for now. I see I've got some old bed linens here. I'm going to go through those. So that'll be number eight, old bed linens. So I'm going to pull this bag out and if you hear that sound that's Michael outside with his power tools um, so I've got to go through all of these I didn't even realize that we had these actually because Michael did have these in his closet and I didn't even know he was saving all of our old bed linens. Like every time we replaced our sheets for the past six years, he's been saving all the old ones. He thought maybe he might use them as drop cloths or something. So I'm gonna go through them and I think we're gonna get rid of a bunch of them. So I'm gonna take these out to the living room, go through them and see what I can get rid of. Okay, so I'll sort these out depending on what they are. So those are pillowcases. I used to buy our sheets at Costco and you had to, you couldn't just buy like a single sheet. Like anytime the fitted sheet wore out, you had to re by the entire set. So really quickly, I'll sort all of the bed linens into two piles. The ones that are still usable, that are in nice condition, and the ones that are just rags. <laughs> so let's see what I've got here. Nah, so that's gonna be my no pile. That's gonna be no. I know, I feel like I would consider both of these probably drop cloths. And this is an old fitted one, yeah. 
Number nine, duvet covers. I had no idea we still had these. They were at the bottom of that bag. So this is an old duvet cover that is basically a drop cloth now. I think that's why Michael saved that one because <laughs> it was not in great shape at all. If I was planning on painting something anytime soon, then I would save a couple of those as drop cloths, but I don't, I don't have any plans for that. So I'm not gonna save them for that just in case. I'm going to move them along to maybe somebody else who might need them and you know might actually be painting something and need some drop cloths or extra rags or something. So those are all gonna be going. Um, so I won't need this bag anymore, I don't think. Do it, nope, nope, we're not gonna try to keep it. <laughs> I'm just gonna get, it, get, it, get rid of that. Okay, let's go back to the closet and see if there's anything else. Number 10, old pillows. This one, definitely too old to be used anymore so that one's gonna go let's see i think this is our ikea duvet number 11 old blankets duvets or throw blankets so if you have any of those that you don't want anymore or they've just outlived their lifetime then it's time to let them go i'm not sure if we're gonna keep this or not i'll check with michael before i get rid of it and see what he wants to do this is like a little fluffy throw that i use on my chair at my desk this one that's michael's that's a throw and then these pillowcases but these are nice pillowcases they're the organic cotton they came from american blossom linens so i'm definitely keeping those because those are like my favorite <laughs> i love the sheets we have the sheets too from them so i'll take these out though because i want to wipe down the shelves number 12 are any old bath towels anything that you don't want to keep maybe it's getting too worn out or a little too raggedy along the edges time to get rid of those okay so i'll pull all of those out and wipe down the shelves and then it's time to reorganize so that's our second phase so phase number one is decluttering phase number two is reorganizing and while i'm cleaning i'm also using this time to do some laundry so right now i'm washing a comforter blanket a duvet and then also a duvet cover some pillowcases you know anything that is going to be going back in here i just want everything washed clean and fresh before it goes back into the closet sometimes i get questions about what spray i'm using i'm just using vinegar and water just a 50 50 blend so i'm just going to wipe down the shelves and at the very beginning of this video, we visualized how we wanted to use the space. How do you want it to be functional for you? What kind of things do you want to store in it? So we want to be intentional about what items we let back into that space. And we don't want to stuff it full of random items again, <laughs> because then it doesn't really have like a functional use. It's just a, a storage space for all kinds of stuff to hide. So once we design a space, with uh, an intention behind it, it makes it easier to keep it that way. So for this closet, Michael and I already decided we wanted it to be a designated linen closet. So I'm gonna be putting only items that actually fit those types of functions back in here. So I've got our fluffy duvet that is freshly washed and dried. I'll put this on one of the bigger shelves at the top here. I have my two throw pillows that I am saving. I'm not getting rid of these. I love these. One day I will find a little sofa that will be perfect for them. And there is nothing Nothing wrong with keeping an item that you really like even if it's not in use right now if you definitely plan to use it in the future so my pillows I'm gonna put on the top shelf here and whenever I'm organizing a space I always keep the items that are most used front and center so you don't have to bend down or reach up high for an item that you're always grabbing for so those are all of our towels they fit perfect on two shelves so I've got hand towels for the bathroom and our washcloths I'll go ahead and put those right here and then we have this really nice set of American Blossom Linens organic cotton sheets. I love these so much. Actually, this is the duvet cover and then some of the pillowcases. The cotton is so nice on these. I love that thicker cotton. It's just a, a hardier, better quality sheet rather than being like really thin and just, uh, I don't know, more flimsy, falls apart faster. Most of our sheets that I was buying at Costco only lasted us one year. I mean, granted, we use it the same sheets every single day so we, we don't like switch up our sheets or anything we just have one set we use all the time we did a collaboration like three years ago with them and i still have been using their sheets and their duvet cover their pillowcases every day ever since then and they're amazing so i'll put these right here on the middle shelf and then we've got some beach towels i could just put those on the shelf i could just put them right like that just throw them right there on the shelf that could totally work you know it's functional it does the job the shelf holds the towels but if you have a touch of OCD or you really have a thing for form you, you know you like to feel good when you walk into a space you like it to be visually pleasing for me that's not gonna work because it just doesn't do it. it just doesn't do it for me so what I've got to do is incorporate an organizer to make it look a little bit nicer this would be a perfect opportunity to add 
a basket. <laughs> I love baskets. Now, if baskets aren't your thing, that's totally a-okay. You can design your space however works best for you and whatever looks most visually pleasing to you. Um, but I, I love using baskets to corral certain items. Wait, first thing before I put towels in there is I wanna check the, <laughs> check the height. Oh yeah, that's gonna fit perfect, perfect height. So instead of having the towels folded, I just roll them so they'll stand up better in the basket. and they stand up easier on their own vertically. So I will go and put that basket right here. Michael wants this back in the closet. This is his throw blanket. He sewed this when we were out in Maui, and so he, he loves that. We only use these items during wintertime though. Um, like this is my, my fluffy little like uh, faux sheepskin that goes over the back of my chair, my office chair. And so I love that during wintertime. It's it's much more cozier because I have a we have those like mesh chairs. I don't store away uh, like seasonal items. Like if it's winter or summer, like everything is out. I don't like put anything in Rubbermaid containers and like stack them anywhere. I don't have anywhere to stack stuff anyway. So we, we live with everything I have uh, all season. If I was to just throw it on the shelf like this, you know, it could, it could do. It looks a little bit messy to my eye. So instead of having it on the shelf, I'm gonna do the same thing and add a basket. I've got this basket here that I think will fit on the shelf perfectly. For me, I need a little more visual interest. So this basket, I'm actually gonna just turn instead. So I'm looking at that side. So where the handle is, because that is a more interesting aspect of that basket. The bottom shelves are the shortest. So I'm just gonna have basics down there. So I've got these air filters for our air purifier. And we got our air purifier at Costco. It was actually a gift from my mother-in-law, which was super sweet because Michael was having allergy problems and it really helped him a lot. I think it should be just tall enough to also be able to fit the toilet paper. So I'll try that. Yep, just fits perfect. So all of our bed and bath items are in here now. Everything is organized. So this is designated for bed and bath items. Nothing else is allowed to go in here. No random things can be shoved in here because there's a little bit of extra room on the shelves or something. Nope. If you have shelves that have some open space, that's a good thing. You don't want to fill every nook and cranny. You want to see some empty space or negative space around your items. So when we organize our space, we want to organize it in a way that creates simplicity and ease when going into that space to do whatever we need to do or to get something. You know, you don't want to take advantage of every square inch of a, a space. You want to have some room in there, room to breathe, you know, let, let your items breathe too. Don't, don't suffocate them <laughs> with too much stuff all stacked around them. If you're working on any particular areas around your house, let me know in the comments below what area you find difficult to deal with that you want to straighten out. Thank you again for hanging out with me and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.